We actually have our first system that we're going to keep an eye on. This is what I was talking about this morning. Um, the Hurricane Center just now, or 8 o'clock, issued on this. And they're saying it's about a 10% chance for development. It, there's a big trough. There's an upper level low. Both of those are not really conducive for development of tropical systems. That's why I'm saying it's not a big deal. It's about 730 some miles or so from us, at least the center is. The Hurricane Center says it has about a 10% chance of development next two days and over the next seven days, I actually should say. That's new this year. They changed it from five to seven. But we're really talking about the next two and a half, three days as it drifts off towards Bermuda. Just don't expect it to develop. This is a lot of wind shear, which would blow it apart. That's a lot of wind shear. It's right in the middle. But it's drifting to the north northeast and this wind shear is going to come over on top of it and shear it apart. And in fact, if you look at the GFS model, they see the closed low there. But this is Monday into Tuesday. Bermuda is basically right there. So there's going to be a weak low pressure system developed as a tropical system. Not likely it's going to be sheared apart, but there'll be a little bit of wind and some rain coming through that area will not affect us. But I did want to show you that that's one system, right? Let's go out to Thursday of this upcoming week, Friday. Here's another low trying to develop and move up. The, the pattern's kind of getting stuck there. And so we'll be watching stuff. But hey, look, if it gets stuck in that pattern, that means formation would be east of us and moving away from the United States. So that's not a bad pattern to be in. But hey, it's May. What, what's today? The 21st? Yeah. And we're, we're watching a little system. Eh, it's kind of not too far out of the norm for this time of the year.